In this video, we will be talking about dependency injection in Flutter. Before we start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for the latest update. So what is dependency injection and why do we need it? Dependency injection is a programming technique in which instances of dependencies, such as object or function, is passed into the class that needs them instead of the class creating them itself. Dependency injections is useful to create loosely coupled application while also following the solid software design principles. If you are new to solid principles, you can check out to our solid principles playlist. First, let's start by showing what will happen without using dependency injection. Imagine today you wanted to write a unit test to your payment class. So in your payment class, you make HTTP request to the payment gateway instance. Now, for testing purposes, you definitely doesn't want to interact with real account. Instead, you should mock a test account. However, the account creation happens inside the class itself, which makes it hard for you to call the payment gateway with a mock account. But with dependency injection, instead of the class creating the account itself, you pass the account object into the payment function. So you can easily switch between a mock account for testing and a real account for production. So now let's dive into dependency injection with code example. In this tutorial, I will be using Gedit package to handle dependency injection. Make sure you add this package into your project dependencies. Firstly, I will create a network service class. For tutorial purposes, I will just create a simple function called execute that returns a string value. Next, I will create a dependency injection container file. This file is mainly used to register the dependencies. So firstly, we have to create a getit instance. Then I will create a void function that used to register our dependencies. If you have more than one dependencies to be registered, you can just add it below. Now, this setup function should be executed inside our main function before run app function executed so that we can access to the dependencies in our main app. Now we have done with registering our dependencies. So whenever you wanted to use these dependencies, you can easily access using locator and specify the dependencies that you needed followed by the function name. For tutorial purposes, I will just add a print statement to the return dependencies value. Now let's try it out in the simulator. So as you can see, when I click on the elevator button, it printed out the string value that returned from the network service class execute method. So now I can easily call this method globally in the app and pass the return value into another function instead of having the class creating the value itself. So this is how you apply dependency injection in Flutter. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.